Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now this is just a quick update to show you what is happening with my epiphytic cactus plants. And I'm very happy to say, there's a few over there, but I'll come back to them in a minute. Look at this, guys. Talk about a budding, blooming paradise. Now, this is our yard out here. We have quite a few, as you can see, a lot of different types of cacti and uh, succulents and a few other type of house plants. got chlorophytums and um, some more epiphytics, um, hanging baskets down the bottom there, all blooming, budding lovely. But I'm going to show you first of all, I'm going to start off with what we've got in beautiful bloom, bud I should say, on the hanging basket stand out here. And <clears throat> first of all here we have um, two different types of a porophyllum, um, a porocactus, three different types I should say. We have the traditional type of a porocactus flagelliformis, commonly known as the, as the rat's tail cactus here. This is still a young, a young cutting that I've had for about four years now. And I've got it as one little strand and look at it now. Full packed with beautiful pink buds and the blooms on these guys are so gorgeous when they open. But that is packed with buds there. Then I have an Aparo cactus here that I've had for, for a number of years. I had to do an emergency cut on it a couple of years ago because it sort of went all brown and rotted at the base and didn't look healthy. But I've managed to repropagate it pretty well here. As you can see, nice healthy stems. That is filled with gorgeous, gorgeous red buds there. And my other Apoa cactus here. Now, so that's actually, a por this is a porophyllum and this is a porocactus. And um, the difference is this is a porocactus malisonii and it has dark, dark red sort of, dark reddish blooms there. One beautiful big juicy bud on it there. And this is my porophyllum, which is a cross between a porocactus and, epi and epiphyllum. And so there's three different varieties, all commonly known as sort of rat's tail cacti. Three different going on in there. So it's going to be lovely if they all bloom together. Now this is my epiphyllum. Most of the epiphyllums I'm here, um, I have a, this is actually another... This is a Cleistocactus, I should say, also known as the, one of the rat's tail type of cactus. This is known as the, the monkey's tail, but it's not an aporoc, it's not an, an epiphyllum. Um, it is a normal type of cactus, but it likes more, more moisture than the traditional ones do. But there's no signs of buds yet on this one. This one usually blooms much later in the year for me, usually from July onwards. So uh, obviously you've got to wait a little bit longer there. But um, this is what I've got blooming beautiful here. Now... This here in this hanging basket stand is epiphyte. Look at them three humongous, humongous buds. I think they're going to open the next day or two. Um, this is a, a, a epiphyllum chichi um, castanengo. And this came originally as a small cutting from my wonderful, very generous friend Shane Walsh, who lives in Kilidi here in Ireland. And by the way, guys, you have to check out Shane's channel if you haven't done already. He has some incredible cacti. And um, links will be up above now to his channel so do go over and check him out guys and subscribe if you're not done already um, he really has some magnificent plants on there and as I say Shane if you're watching this this is your beauty there three huge buds and um, although I've got a few different types of this is another type of epiphyllum here not quite sure of this one um, it does have lovely big huge white blooms I think it's one of the queen of the night ones it lasts just one night but not sure of the exact variety as you can see it's very different to a lot of my other epiphyllums it's more like a big long stem where they, they come out of like a vine now here is one of my uh, uh, sorry my epiphyllum all these names oh my goodness this is an ep epiphyllum and not sure of this one I got this one many years ago from a car boot sale or like a market store they have here <laughs> and um, again it was a small cutting it's doing very well this has very bright lovely bright orange flowers on it but again not sure of the variety buds on there very nice but this is what I'm really there's two really excited ones I'm very excited about here this is my um, epiphyllum pegasus cactus and never before has it had so many buds so when these flowers I'm not kidding you guys, it's just going to be absolutely spectacular. Look at that, look at the size of them buds. But the buds don't do nothing to what the actual flowers are going to look like when it opens. Now, this is a plant I've had a very, very, very long time. In fact, probably about 25 years. I got it from a cutting from my friend Chris um, when I lived in England. And the cutting was literally that size. She gave it to me as a cutting and it sort of... Took a while to grow and then over the years look at it now 
And this flowered probably for the first time for me about 10 years ago. Beautiful. No, probably not even that long ago. Probably about six years. A really lovely big huge bloom. And I did make a video of, I've done a couple of videos of this blooming beauty when she flowers, but she's never had this many blooms. I think the most I've ever had is two flowers. Um, but look at that, guys. So I will put a link up above now to a video when this gorgeous beauty flowered. And it's a bit of a time-lapse video I did. It was one of the early days, one of my early videos. And um, I took it over many stages. I used to love making videos like that, but it's just totally time-consuming now for me to do. But it was... If you can check it out, guys, you'll see what this plant does look like when she flowers with just the one bloom. You wait to see what she looks like in all of these blooms. I'm really excited about this. And um, stay tuned for future video when this blooming beauty flowers. Gosh, you guys, really is exciting. Now, this is another one of my epiphytic cacti here. This is a Ripsalis. It's been flowering sort of, this flower sort of during the winter time, mainly um, for me. It's full of berries now. Look at them little berries. So there's plenty of seed in there. So that's very exciting. Again, there's about three or four different types of Ripsalis in this. This is a different, tighter, tighter stem growing variety. And these are more longer stem, like pe almost like a pencil type of stem. But different varieties there. But the flowers are pretty much the same. And this is my um, Slumbergera as well, my, my traditional true Slumbergera. Um, as I say, true as in the true Christmas cactus one. Again, this was gifted to me by, by different types of cuttings. I've got a few different varieties of plants in there. And, um, but look at this, guys. Wow, look at all them humongous buds. The lighting's not brilliant, I'll just turn around so you can see that a bit better. This plant here is uh, Epiphyllum German Empress, and it is, it's, this plant I actually got some years ago as well from a, it was a holistic, holistic fair I was, I was working at, um, as a therapist and I bought this when I saw it for sale I could not resist it didn't really know what it was at the time the lady said oh it's German something she said and of course I looked at it when it actually bloomed for me I, I then was able to ID it as German Empress and um, very very beautiful and these are all buds and the buds look pretty they look almost look like they're flowers now don't they that's how the buds sort of come off but when they open these these buds that the outer little outer petals that are open already these will fully open more and then the flower will actually come out absolutely gorgeous and i want to also share a link to this flat this this cactus when she flowered before when i made a video absolutely spectacular flowers again so do check that video out to give you an idea what this blooming beauty is going to look like when all the flowers are open um, again I've never had so many blooms on this plant as I have this year um, absolutely incredible it's been a great year for, for birds but just look at that guys it looks like they look like flowers now but believe it or not this is purely just um, the buds <laughs> so again never so many I'm very excited about that so do check the link up to that video also. And that's on that side. Now here's, here we have some more epiphyllums here. We have on the floor, again, more epiphyllum. This is epiphyllum acamanii, lovely deep, deep red buds there, which I'm very excited. And again, my other acamanii there, this one, this they're actually are two different types. This one has larger sort of orangey reddy flowers. And this one has more smaller, deep red flowers. But again, lots of buds on there. Very exciting, as you can see, very old plant. Had this a very long time also, as you can see, a little bit scabby, but it's the war wounds that add the extra, extra variety. And this one is one that I got last year from Urban Plant Life. Looking very healthy. I'm going to repot this, but no signs of buds yet. But apparently um, it does have white flowers when she blooms. Now this is my other, my other Ripsalis here. This, um, no signs of flowers. Again, these are more sort of winter flowering. My other golden rat tail here. This normally forms buds from the July time, so nothing yet. And this is my zigzag cactus. Um, got a couple of different types of these. And um, again, no signs of buds. Love that when it, when it flowers, because it's quite unusual as it is. Mother epiphyllum there. Um, this actually did have buds on it, but unfortunately they fell off. Um, not quite sure, sometimes that happens. Hopefully it won't fall off them over there. And I've got some chlorophytums now. This is my, um, also another Ripsalis. Not doing too good at the moment. As you can see, it's looking a bit scabby. That's just the old growth, so not to worry. Excuse the background, guys. That's part where the, the pipes have rusted coming down. <laughs> not very attractive, I know. But if you just look at the plant instead. Um, and here, this is just, just not looking that good at the moment. I'm going to have to repot it again. And um, hopefully it's going to spring back into health. But I've put it there because it's a bit more of a shady spot for it. And um, look at this. I know it's not 
Hello, Sotepi Fighty, but that's my calico is all coming up into magnificent bloom. Now, here under the table, we have some more. This is the ones that like a little bit more shade. We have a lovely old table with here, and we've got another Ripsalis under there. Um, and then this is my um, the Ripsalidopsis Easter Cactus. And there's three different varieties in there, all packed with buds, as you can see. The one has deep purple buds, the one has deep red buds, and the other one has a bit of a pinky bud, as you can see there. All, um, all underneath. Another Ripsalis there. Here we have my Slumbadera truncata as well. Another, my Slumbadera orange Brazil. These are all commonly known as the Thanksgiving and the Christmas cactus. And here, last but not least, <laughs> I have my Ripsalidopsis Easter cactus packed with buds. Absolutely packed. She's looking a little bit shriveled, but she is well watered. Put her under the table so she's going to appreciate a bit more shade under there. First flower starting to open, but isn't she just magnificent? You wait till she blooms. So I'm very happy, guys. And that's just a little bit of a bit of an update on the epiphytic cacti because there's so many. I just thought I'd just do one big update. And I'd always try and keep the videos as short as possible, but know me, I rabbit on. It's hard to show all this excitement in a two-minute video. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for future videos when these are blooming beautiful. And uh, if you want to find a bit more about cacti and succulents, then do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I'm busy at the moment. I'm going to be even busier writing an e-book. Um, hopefully she'll be out in the next few months. So um, stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, until the next video, send you loads of love and plant power from across the Emerald Isle. Bye. I'm not going to say bye. I don't want the, the blooms to drop off. Bye.